welcome to the channel. I finally unlocked Platinum Shotguns. We're going to be going over them, and I'm also going to be ranking them. Now, before we start, again, this is my opinion. You guys can disagree with me all you want, but I feel like in this case, most people would probably agree with me. But, at number four, I have the Expedite 12. This gun is very, very weak. I just, I've seen it everywhere. This gun just has no range. It just doesn't. And there isn't any barrels that we can add on to it to increase the range. I would have put on a shot, uh, a suppressor, but that makes it too slow. And it's just, this gun just, there's no really a single place where this really excels that except fire rate. But even then, fire rate can mess you up. Um, I've had a couple times where I pressed it twice and it was very delayed and by the time the second shot second shot went off it the either the person was gone or it just missed because the person moved but this gun you can, you can make it work on shipment but if you were to try to use this on any other map good luck man i would aim down sight a lot um the challenges are pretty easy I mean, the shotguns are a really easy class to get done. Um, challenges are get kills, hit fire kills, kills while prone, and kills while ads Again, this, these weren't too bad. I will say, though, this is probably the weakest shotgun to get long shots with. I highly recommend you putting on slugs, and I highly recommend putting on suppressor for most of these shotguns. You can do this on shipment, which is what I did, but this is so weak it just for some reason it just it, it just it just doesn't have the range at all and it, i feel like it's probably because they didn't have a barrel on this gun if this gun actually had a barrel to increase like damage range and all that it probably would have been better but yeah at number three i have the 725 or the lockwood 300 don't know why they changed that name but this is not the nightmare we had in Modern Warfare 2019. Not one bit. This gun lacks range, like in Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, uh, like, apart. Like, I don't even know how to word it. It just... Modern Warfare 2019, it was just the biggest threat. If someone pulled this out, you know other people were going to pull it out or use other shotguns. Yeah, that or the Dragon's Breath. In this game, it was not the best it's really slow you can't really hit fire with this gun and it's just it's just not the best shotgun in the game in my opinion it also has two shots two shells instead of the other guns that have like seven to eight to even twelve it's just not very it's not the best it's not bad if you use it aim down sight if you aim down sight like you're fine but up to a certain range but, yeah, it, it's not the best. This is my class. I did the best I could to increase range, but also increasing the ADS time. Um, the challenges are get kills. Use, kills using the suppressor, which came naturally since I was using a suppressor. One-shot kills, which, again, it's a shotgun. Getting one-shot kills is pretty natural. And pretty annoyingly, using or getting kills while mounted. Don't know why a shotgun needs to get mounted. Same thing with the Deagle. Like those guns don't really need to get like I don't know why we would I don't, I, I don't know I would suggest using slugs for this one I, I I don't know I just struggled really badly without the slugs and when I put on the slugs it was way easier um, same thing with those long shots again for all of them I would suggest you put on slugs so you can get these long shots way easier but yeah and at number two Honestly, these two are pretty pretty close, but I like, but I would say that the Bryson 890 is my number two. It's a really solid gun. Like it has really good range, pretty decent aimed on sight time. It's just a really solid weapon, especially since it's a mag fed shotgun, so you can it's not it doesn't take that long to like reload. Um, the challenges are good kills, point blanks, which with the shotgun is gonna come naturally. Double kills and kills while crouched. Again, this one isn't too bad. Especially since this is like a one-shot kill. And 
honestly, this gun is really nice. I just, my, I just prefer the Bryson 800 more, which is why it's my number one. I don't, again, I think it's more about feel than it is about anything else. I know the Bryson 890 has a mag, like a mag you can quick change, but this just feels better to me. I truly don't know why, but it just feels better. They're basically the same gun. I have eight rounds because of the barrel. So it's not really because the lack of ammo or anything like that. I just, I just, I just prefer that one better. Um, the challenge to get kills, hit fire kills with, which with the shotgun is going to come really naturally. Double kills and kills one shot or like one shot, one kills. For some reason, this one's 20 while I think other guns, I think were like 25 or something like that. I think the, the 725 was 25, but yeah, this was really solid. Alright, let's hop in game and let's check these out. This is the gold Expedite 12. I really like the animations this year with like the gun specs. This is the gold Lockwood 300. This is the Bryson 890. And this is the Bryson 800. I just prefer this better, honestly. This is the Lockwood 300 Platinum. It's really clean. And this is the Expedite 12 Platinum. This is the Platinum Bryson 800. And this is a Bryson 890. Alright, and that's it. currently it for now. I am very, very close. I just need the snipers. I'm at 48 of 51, there's a reason for that. I'll explain in the next video. But, I'm really close. And I don't, and I'm not going to need to do long shots until I'm done with Orion. And that might, I might put it off for a little bit, but I'm really close. I'm really close. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And that's about it. Thank you and goodbye.